The name says it all. Nikki G and Juliet. Our show is a new brand of talk shows where we educate, bring transparency, and last but not least, fun. Oh, table talk. Table talk. Yes, Perk. So, yeah. welcome to Table Talk, everyone. We are here with the phenomenal DJ Perk. That's yeah. P E R C. <laughs> <laughs> he does mixes, refixes. Perk can give us a, you know, a just of everything that he does. But um, welcome to the show. Welcome. Man. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. So let me just give you guys the, you know, the short story of it. I was introduced to this group. My cousin put me in the group. He's like, you know, you do voices and stuff like that. So voiceovers. So let me put you in this group where you can meet a lot of the DJs. So the DJ, the DJs that I met, um, it's international. You find a lot of Trini DJs. You hear a lot of Trini accents and stuff like that. And then you have the main guy who we're also going to introduce. You know, we're going to interview, um, not on this clip, but on a, another clip. Right. And Perk was one of them who was in the group. And this group goes like a mile a minute, like a thousand a day and yeah. stuff, you know. And everybody, what they're in there for, they help each other um, in production. If somebody doesn't have plugins, you know, the work. So Per could tell you how it started, if he knows how it started or how he got into in there. Yeah. So, Perk, so, yeah. Take it away, Perk. <laughs> Tab on media. I first hear about that name when I download a folder, a music folder. But just them remixes. I was like, that group real bad. That was before I started remix. I started to do all them stuff. I, I was like, wait, that them real bad, boy. Them, them real bad. Soon after, I end up getting a, a group link to join the group. Mm-hmm. So I join and I meet Pepsi, the person who does, you know, make the same remixes I say. It was real bad. You know, because it's very, it extremely good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, yeah, that group, yeah, Pepsi, did help me out in the beginning and stuff with my production as well. So, yeah, make up to Pepsi. He helped me, he helped me a lot. Yeah. But, yeah, the, that group on the whole is a good group. Like, we just have a little thing where it's a good group. Everybody else help each other in there. Yeah. But is it a mixture of, like, is it uh, more trainees in there? Or is it, like, a mixture I think it's more like it's more Trinis because the, the owners are Trini and like we Trinis are just share up links. And you know, we always start our nose. If I would have just joined and then just stay, you know? And not share. Well, yeah. we didn't even start by saying where Perks is from. Perks. Yeah, where well, are I, you? I started, I started yeah. from, you know, from the group to let people know <laughs> where I met him and how it started for me. So, Perk, we're going to go back. Like, how did it start for you? Where are you? Where are you? And 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 don't, let's start from, like, the, the beginning. beginning. Like, what made you do this? The music? Like, yeah. yeah. When, how old were you? How did you start? Because you're so young now. That's yeah. like a three and one question. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> let's start with where are you? I'm in Trinidad in Pleasantville. Oh, oh, my family lives there. See? We really? Yeah. Go back. <laughs> yeah, my family lives there around the circular. Um, <laughs> that's where you are? You no. Oh. Oh, I thought like, he might know though. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I mean, I attended Pennsylvania Senior Secondary. And, really? Yeah, yeah. That's cool. not cool no more. That's <laughs> it? It's not cool anymore? That's cool. It's not cool no more. Oh. Really? It just oh. Leave. oh my god so i went there and my family um the mitchells and mm. i have to get the next name but they're right you know they used to sell a lot of stuff on the other side oh yeah wow so then so then how old were you when you started this because you're young I, you have no idea that's not it was just our own music my whole life um, maybe I would say, I would say like for DJ, I mean, we started DJ when I was about, about six or seven, so. Really? What? Yeah. Oh Were you God. DJing with anyone in particular? 
No, 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 And he just let me play, and I just let me play, but I had to stop, stop playing music around, like, you see, we're from after I finished primary school, and I came in secondary school, mm. that is when I had really stopped playing music, I really didn't have no time, and no kind of feeling, so at that time, and yeah. it's only like, so I had to start back. So it was more, it was more school, and then you went, you got back into the music. Yeah. That's good. That's wow. good. What did you study? Well, the, the everybody that actually study in um in secondary school, maths, English, geography, oh, biology. Did you have nice. did you have a favorite, a favorite subject? It depends on the teacher. <laughs> It always Before depends always. on the teacher, it's amazing, yeah. It, Mm, you could have a good subject and you could be learning everything where you could have a, a certain teacher, you know, a teacher that's making it, that's sell, hard work. And then the, the good teachers, you know, once you don't mind going in that class. Yeah. yeah. So your ultimate goal, like, what did you want to be? I mean, I know you DJ now and stuff, but what, where did you see yourself, like, maybe three oh, years from now? Well... I really have no idea. I just, just go with the flow. <laughs> and I just live. Yeah. Yeah. And learn everything that you can. Yeah, but you know, I'm also always trying to see if I could set that goal for myself too. True. True. Yeah. Was your uncle a DJ or he, he, he just used to freestyle and play his own thing? Well, he, he, he's just generally a music person. Mm. Yeah. So music was always playing around you. Yep. Yeah, that's good. That's how it and Juliet, Juliet's enjoying the Trini accent. She's yeah, I'm, she's I'm, mocking I'm, you as I'm you hearing talk. it. I'm hearing it. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds real good. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what is the highlight of you? You know, getting into DJing. Continue your story. Well, highlight, Jesse. Well, you got into this group, and then from there, what happened? It started to grow. Your music obviously started growing, right? Yeah, from the help I get. And so, yeah. you know, and then too, I just really push myself with that. I just still do, I just, like, I never really changed my routines. I just be up in here, like, I just go to sleep real late. I just change my sleeping habits because, you know, it affected my health. But, oh, I just, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. So Juliet was trying to understand, right? Because I told her that you're a DJ and you do remixes and, you know, financially, is it, is it profitable to you or you do this, the, the end result of it, right? Whatever you do, what's the end result of it? Like, what is the process of what you do? The process? Well, I don't really get no money for what I do Even if I was a DJ, yeah, like my mom, we can't just be on lockdown and think. So I never really get booked no places to make no star money. Yeah. So it's really just, it's a learning experience. Mm. You want to be the best it could be right now. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But obviously your goal is to make money at this. And so do you see yourself as, as, Uh, a producer in the end or you know or you're going to teach this to other kids how what what do you think you're going to do in maybe in, by next year let's just say next year yeah. i don't mind teaching people but you know it's push because i really and truly that we understand all yeah i if like my career end up taking off i don't want to stay in this country because i want to handle start opportunities for me true that's true yeah yeah because a lot of caribbean people tend to i mean even in my time um a lot of people would advance their career and they, their goal is to come away if even if it's europe or it's america and then play for other people because the beginning he did a, a really good mix and you know it's versatile it's not just soca yes you know is. it's hip hop is rmb it's, it's afrobeat it's got you it's reggae everything. it has everything in it and that's what we need we need people who you know who plays a lot of different genres yeah 
That's how it picks mm. up. Yeah, it's like oh, maybe let's call them DJs. Like open oh, format DJs, cause it has some DJs that just stick to one genre. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So you call it what open? Open, open or, format. Um, open format. Yeah. Um, and who would you say is um, maybe your favorite DJ or someone you might look up to or you learn from or something? If you have any. Well, I learn. I I learned from plenty of from Sulinang the videos and stuff, but like in Trini, well, I would just say DJ Echo though, because he, mm. you know, he he personality on the whole, because he not, you see him rising, right? You yeah. would not see him cheating. You wouldn't see him cheating? Changing. Or oh, changing. Okay. Yeah, right. I see real people. I see real people get a little better following. Real people a little better following, and they're just moving out. Mm. You know. Well, then, if you say that, then because you you kind of blend into all different genres at the same time. So, where do you want to see yourself? You want to see yourself in in. He says he wants he want well he wants to be an international DJ right, right. he wants to so you're gonna have to general. you have to mix you have to yeah but but, mm-hmm. but what he's saying is like in change. the Trini accent when they say you know people feeling a how or people acting a certain way yeah. meaning that you know I'm myself but then as soon as I hit it big I feeling like I miss it I miss thing oh, okay. <laughs> in, a, <laughs> in a summary it's okay. like so that's what he's saying is like you know you, you could be consistent but just because you have a little bit of following some people have a little bit of following and feel it big got it, whereas got it. this other dj you know he has his following and stuff and he's the same way that's right yeah that's right that is a, <laughs> that is what i would hope obviously same has a way of changing changing people, people. yeah it, it, it all depends and sometimes people change people because you know you stay the same and then people let's say you're a modest person you're very soft-spoken and then people are going to come at you and tell you bad things and say oh your feeling is it your feeling is this and that whereas the person is just trying to rise above and fit into so many different characters you know yeah. what i mean so sometimes yeah. people mis- misjudge others thinking that, you know, you're feeling is it, but they just want to rise above the rest and do what they got to do. Yeah. You know, they love. Yeah. Well, I mean, just by listening to the beginning and the intro and, and stuff, and you really know what you're doing and <laughs> it yeah. just has to be I, out there. Yeah. We just got to put that I, out there. I can't leech in that um, DJ workshop as well. So, oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so it like my my whole like skill set again polish, you know? Mm-hmm. It is again polish good. Instead of like like I guess I do it learning. So I'm learning something the wrong ways you will thing that can happen to you True. as a DJ. Yeah. yeah that's no material in it. Yeah. All right. So it's a workshop. Tell us a little more about the workshop. Yeah. Like how do people join the workshop as well? Well, it's have online classes, it could pay is it in Marbella? Yeah, so outside, like where I live. Yeah. Okay. So basically, you could just pay for regular classes and you go there. Mm-hmm. And you choose, you choose your class. You want to do um DJ production, whatever, because they see they teach real thing, real thing. That's stuff I do even though they teach it, they teach it, right? Mm-hmm. So I currently. I, I, I already do the DJ for like Momonta DJ. So I now doing production. Mm. Yeah. So they teach you production. Yeah. 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 So you know, you know Casey, Pro- Precision Productions. Who? Casey, um, Casey, Phillips. Casey Phillips. He's on um, Precision Productions. They produce a lot of the soca that we have in Trinidad now. Oh, I can't be honest with you. I really don't know no soca producers. Really? I, yeah, I really know. I really know, like, like, let say, like, producer, like, other genre producers. But, like, soca, uh-huh. I, I really like soca, don't get me wrong, eh, but, like, I don't fall into it. Like, the I don't fall into part of it. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what we were saying. Like, when we, 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 when we interviewed a couple producers, right? we realize 
like I mean, we knew from before, like producers are not highlighted. So you don't know who produced the beat. Yeah. But there's a lot of songs out there that was produced. And even the writers, people don't know the writers, but they know the artists. So the artist is the face of the music. Just like if you do a refix. Yeah. Um, if I'm saying it right, is it refix you call it? Yeah, refix. Mm-hmm. It could be a refix or you see that one, you know, depending on where you do any song. Yeah, but you want to tell everybody what's the difference between a refix and... Well, I is not professional. All I know is that I think I think a refix will be like, just like, it yeah, is refixing the song, but I mean, like, at the instrument, like, the song is the same, but, like, you're adding whatever. And, yeah. like, a remix, just, you do it where you remix the whole song, you drop a whole different beat on the song. Yeah, you know? Yeah, okay. Yeah. You do it, you it, please, basically. Do you have any that you refixed before? Soka? Yeah, any, 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 any genre. genre. I, I have, I am, I'm going to hit a hundred remixes and I refix it just now. Really? Yeah, well, are you yeah. able to play one for us for people to hear what it means to have a refix or do a refix? Yeah. Hold on. Let me just um, see if I could. I'm going to see if I could um, share my show. Don't, don't you ever come around here. Don't want to see your face. You better disappear. The fire's in the eyes and their words are really clear. So beat it. Just beat it. I got to be. You better run. You better. Are you hearing it? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Hey, we just played some quick. something and just run with it and that just sounds it's just amazing to see and you know they still came back to the old school ways see you don't make us sound so old now look, look, no 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 because <laughs> they could be up with the only what what is playing now but they're going back they're taking michael jackson died how many years ago i know but it's like the thing is old school i remember when my son used to say ma i don't want to listen to that so old school and then <laughs> the other day he was listening to well it was a while back he was listening to something and i'm like you know where that stems from so a lot of these beats and stems yep. and all that stuff They're comes from back. old beats yeah. you know it's sample beats huh? like drake can't sing nothing on there's just sample that's and just build something of it Exactly. That's it. That's so they, they sample a lot of things, yeah. you know. What so. was a hit then? It can always come a hit again. Just we change yeah. it. Now. That's yeah. it. And that's the bottom line. Yeah. Well done. I'm so proud of you for one for so young. Yeah. You're out there um, doing your thing. Juliet always saying so I young. do. No, because he is he, young. He probably look like a baby and he could be like you and I. We look like babies, don't we? We do look like babies. <laughs> <laughs> but oh my God. I mean, do you want to say your age? I'm 16. Woo! 
<laughs> like I said, I was telling her you guys were at least 19 or something. Oh my like God. See, I don't know. Listen, boy, but by the guys, time you hit, by the time he hit 19. Yeah. There is no stopping you. You see those people that you say, um, when they get big, it's gonna be you, bro. So you go, <laughs> you better work this out now. <laughs> no, but he's. I mean, he's he's actually going to school. He's do. I mean, well, he's doing it. He's doing it already. Yeah. You know, that's amazing. So, what what advice would you give to anyone coming up? That means twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Julian, what? I'm just saying. No, but the thing is, coming up could be. 30, 50, 60, because That's they have true. some people who would leave their well, their job. No. They'll probably leave whatever they're doing and start a skill, you know? So yeah. just from how you did it, because you say, you know, you wanted to study first and then get back into music. At his age, like what I was telling you, people, we always feel like, okay, the school has done now so what else do we do because in the the caribbean over here you'd start college at 18 we're already done but i shouldn't say done but our life starts at 16 and then if you want to continue then you'll come over here to college so whatever you're doing in college we already did Mm -hmm. our education system is top notch Mm -hmm. depending on what school you go to but it's still top notch you know yeah oh my goodness wow yeah, I'm still, I, I still can't get over, you know. Yeah, over, I didn't think yeah. he was going to say 16. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm proud of you guys because yeah, being, so in, being in that group is like, I can't stay to see everything. I'll come and I'll go and I'll see the jokes and stuff, but I'll download music. I use it for my own. Sometimes you'll find it here. And um, it's a wealth of information that you get, yeah. you know? So back to my question, what advice would you give someone? It doesn't matter the age um, who wants to do anything that they love and you could do it in reference to music as well. Uh, what I could say is if they really wait, you're pushing for how much you wait. That's it. True. Yeah, it's self-explanatory. It's something like, well, yeah, but you know, it does just get his feeling like, you know, when you, it, it doesn't know it happen. Like when you just wake up in the middle of the night and you just, you know, start to do what you like to do. Yeah. 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 You got to know what you like. I didn't, I mean, I know I liked music. I like modeling. I like, but I never knew I'd get into voiceovers. I wanted to sing. Mm, see, and then when I came voice. here, it was flooded. So, and then someone said, you know, Nick, you have a good voice. Let's, let's see where this takes us. And that gave me the platform to use my voice. And then still, I didn't, I didn't master singing, but I still would do stuff with people who sings. If, and if I talk, you know, um, like in the intros or something like that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So you mm. just keep on doing it because obviously if you love it and you love it to the point where you're yeah. hearing beats and stuff in your head, it means you, you're you really going to be, you're gonna, that's where you are going to be. Yeah. And it's like wanting to be a doctor in it. Yeah. I always wanted to help people um, and, and without the nursing and the doctor in business because I can't see blood. If I see blood, I'm fainting. So oh. <laughs> that's when I was like, oh man, I can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I do like helping people and, and if us by us, you know, just pushing out some of the things that you do helps, then, hey, we're going to do it. Yeah. But we do want to know, like, how people can get in touch with you, just in case, yeah. you know, they're your age group or, or even older, and they just want to ask you a couple questions. Is there a way that they can even contact you, or do you mind? Yeah, anybody can message me, really. you can message me on Instagram, WhatsApp, TT. Okay. DJ Perk TT. DJ Perk dot TT. DJ dot dot TT. No. Say that one one more more time. time. It's breaking up. Yeah. (laughs) It's breaking up while you're saying it. Um, DJ. Mm Mm-hmm. Dot Perk dot TT. Got it. So the dot between the DJ, dot between the perk. Yeah, got it. Really nice. Okay, so everybody, you can get you can get a hold of DJ Perk that way on Instagram. So please reach out to him, encourage him. He's young. He's our future. So encourage him and 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 give him words and ask questions. Let's let's do this. DJ Perk, listen. 
we're going to play your stuff, obviously, at the end of this clip. Um, and we're also going to do our intro with featuring you as well. And for those who cannot see his face clearly, don't worry, we're going to have we're going to have a picture of him. <laughs> and we promised him that he's going to play live, like right now, a little bit yeah, for us, just for a team. So bit. he's going to give you a little thing. Um, Perk, I just wanted to ask one more question. Um, just give us any funny moment in your life. Add a funny or a highlight that happened to you through all of this, your experiences that you'd want to share. Music? Yeah. If you like to share the music part of it, yes. Well, I didn't really go outside. So, then, uh, I'm telling you, I, I would say I just fall on in school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You fall down at school. Yeah. <laughs> How that happened? How did you it, was it was raining. It was in form too. I was just walking to my class. It was raining heavily that day, and I skate, but nobody can see it was, it was right outside my class. Yeah. So nobody. Can. <laughs> it's the worst. I've seen people fall down stairs, <laughs> and when it rains in Trinidad, it's like it depends on what school and where you're walking. You know, it could be really dread. Yeah, and school kids are not. I mean. <laughs> they're merciless <laughs> my my only question to you is how did you come up with um perk as your as your dj name i gotta be honest with you mm -hmm. i i am um, i just take care because nobody really had the name okay okay like i had real names you know but like i said nah like uh, it all matters on the syllable i was thinking mm -hmm. It's a label, cause I don't want no long DJ name. So like when I go to one guy DJ job, a man or a double or something, a man had to say this long thing. You know? <laughs> <Good point. laughs> this is DJ Acapella on the house, um, bringing it live. You just want to say, this is DJ Perk. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, I get it, I get it. Well done. Well, well done. done. Well, I want to thank you so much yeah, for being you. a part of the show. Um, if you can take us out with a little something, I'm something, sorry, as well. yeah. you know, and um, wait, are we going to go live? Are we going to go live? Wait, DJ Perk, you've got a few minutes. Oh, wait, we've got another. We have. A, yeah, we got another we have to, yeah, we'll have to do live another time. I mean, I think. Yeah, um, players we can end song. the show that way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, you want to be able to hear my saga and that's fun. That's fine. That's fine. So we're going to do it in our sound voice. You about to listen to DJ Perk. Perk. You missed in out. In two seconds. Look, look, you missed out live with Nikki G and Juliet. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. Let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait, live with Nikki G and Juliet on Table Talk Show. Oh. MJ. <laughs> You're about to hear DJ Perk. Enjoy back to back music right here, right now. No. Solid sounds. Solid sounds. Solid sounds. Love is a guy that thinks he's fine. Also known as a buster. Always thinking about what he wants to just sit on his broke ass. So no, I don't want your number. No, I don't want to give you mine. And no, I don't want to meet you nowhere. No, no one under your time. And no, I don't want no scrub. The scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. Hanging out the passenger side of his best friend's ride. Hey, 
Ella me gusta, pero nunca me hace caso. Ella me mira como si fuera un payaso. Y aunque lo intenté, al final no tiene caso. Dime qué pasó, cuál es tu rechazo. Ella me gusta, pero 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 nunca me hace caso. Piki, 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 piki. Demasiado piki, 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 piki. Si yo le salgo por la izquierda, se va para la derecha. No sé lo que le pasa conmigo, ella no quiere bailar. Piki, 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 piki. Demasiado piki, 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 piki. Si yo le salgo por la izquierda, se va para la derecha. No sé lo que le pasa conmigo, ya no quiere bailar. Mira, tú lo sabes, llevo tiempo tras de día. Y es que yo le siento porque tú me tratas así. Lo único que quiero es bailar. Debes darte la vuelta y tú te vas a ver Don't give me no bammer. We don't smoke that. It's TGOD. Don't give me no bammer. We don't smoke that. It's TGOD. Don't give me no bammer. We don't smoke that. It's TGOD. Don't give me no bammer. We don't smoke that. It's TGOD. Ride it, slide it, dip them, vibe it. Get come and live this life. I'm a rich, I'm a rich life. I'm a rich, I'm a rich life. Make a roll this. When you get inside, you be home on your own, but your friends ain't shy. Plus, they don't really make my money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how we we parents. <laughs> <laughs> guys listen <laughs> we we changed views just a little bit because nikki wanted to show off her crown and glory can you yes, see the crown because i'm a queen can't you see the crown <laughs> say yes say yes you better say yes <laughs> we just interviewed dj perk and He's so young. God, oh my God. I thought he was 19. I didn't think that he was 16. <laughs> I know they were young. I know the DJs in there are super young. You hear it in their voices. But the talent, they exude talent. And it's amazing to see that, or to hear, because I've never seen it. This is the first time seeing him. And I just couldn't believe when he said 16 <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, she was shocked. I, I really wasn't shocked. It didn't shock me at all because of, um, especially like you asked him what was his embarrassing moment. Yeah, and, and he, he said, said he fell. Oh, it's cool. He fell. He it's it's cool. It. And so, <laughs> so I thought to myself, you know, you're, and normal people will think you fell where you are. She didn't need to say normal. She meant to say older people. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but but um, he he really means he just tripped. He just tripped. That was it. And you, you know what? He hasn't he hasn't been here long enough to have I an know, embarrassing but, moment. But no, they <laughs> know he was that young. But they have people who go through experiences at a very very tender age. But the thing with the Caribbean people, you have to understand. Caribbean people, everything is kind of funny to us in a way, and we live life very innocently. You know, we live life very innocently. Okay, one or five. Innocently, do they? Yeah, we do. We live. You don't live innocently. Oh, I forgot. She didn't grow up in the Caribbean, so she don't know how Caribbean people grow up. But <laughs> but she's Jamaican. She's Brit. I'm a Brit, but my parents are Jamaican. But yeah, um, you know. So we, we simple, simple things we do. People would ask you, "What's the highlight of your life?" I'm like climbing on a mango tree, sucking mango. But you know do what? It. I will hear that and go, "What?" Yeah, because our life is, people always say they want a simple life. It's not that simple because you have some people who would be like, I've never picked a mango in my life. I've never had a tree where I could go outside and and get fruits. Whereas we cultivate a lot of things. I mean, what we had was a mango tree and certain things. You don't have everything. So hearing the accent, hearing that is like, is refreshing as opposed to just technology wise where mm. everybody's filled up with technology but really really living a life is 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 that to me because it's the simplest thing but you enjoying it yeah yeah okay so i guess i did i did simple but way different from your simple our simple was going outside to play and and playing badminton and learning to play table tennis and well, we tennis and, well I didn't have a tree um <laughs> can I keep going 
<laughs> we did that too. <laughs> we didn't, I, I, I guess, you know, I, I wish I was able to do more of that outdoor and walking past and teeping a manga out your, 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 your neighbor's tree <laughs> and hearing Mr. Jones cuss you out because you're up in his tree trying to get a manga. <laughs> I, I no, wish I could do all the of that. The thing is we had our own tree. So in your yard, which we're able to have fenced off, we have plum trees. We have, not everyone, I'm not saying everyone has. Yeah. We had, um, what is this thing? Every time I come from, every time I come from school, I pick it. So my, my dad will know that we actually, you know, pick something from his tree, the coconut tree. I learned how to cut coconuts wow. on my own. Yeah. Wow. So you see, and some people can't do that over here. So our life, like now. No, those, wait, those coconut trees is high. It's high. But what we had, we had a rod that will do like this and pull the coconut down. I can't even imagine. I, I don't. So we learn, we learn how to sew. Where, where people over here doesn't know how to sew. Mm -hmm. We learn from the, the basic typewriters where people mm -hmm. learn from computers. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's a lot of things like now we have the aloe vera plant that you use and you put it on your skin and your head. And, and over here, everything we have over there is natural yeah. compared to over here. Everything is artificial or refined and you don't get the the real stuff so in the caribbean you get the real stuff you know what that is you know what an owl plant feels like you know what um a lot of these different things in let's say in hair products when they talk about it avocado every girl who can take a seat on Says it all. Tabletop show with Nikki G and Juliet. Nikki G and Juliet.